morning. Here's my view from uh, Bunny Flats on Mount Shasta. Beautiful day today out here. We've got Castle Craigs right here. And we are looking uh, south, I believe. There's my little step. Steps uh, out. I uh, there was a crust on the snow last night, so when I went to to step on it, it broke through, and underneath was um, powder. So I had to kind of dig down a little bit to get to a firmer layer of snow, and it worked out great. Got my ski poles. Got my skis sitting out here. Just a beautiful view, Mount Shasta. Well, just getting up. Didn't sleep much, but that's kind of my story. I don't sleep much the first night at camp. Plus, I forgot my earplugs. Rookie move. <clears throat> Anyways, I uh, slept good when I did sleep. And uh, was testing out my uh, Montbell Super Spiral um, 650 down sleeping bag, uh, zero degree. And um, that's this guy right here. And uh, it did great. Um, I'm sure it only got down maybe in, to the 20s. So obviously it was going to work good. Plus I was wearing layers, so... <clears throat> waiting for a time where it gets really uh, cold, at least for here in California. <laughs> Some of the stuff I love about it is uh, these these draft tubes here along the zippers. Those worked really great, um, and also the the neck the neck draft tubes. They have these these tubes that go around um, the neck here, and it velcros in on the other side um, and the long fit me really good I'm 6'5 and uh, it's, I think they say it uh, they fit it fits people to 6'5 so kind of lucked out on that um, the hood fit my head really well um, this morning when it got really cold I started wearing I wore the hood because all I had was this baraclava on um, I took my beanie off and put it inside um, uh, what I like about the uh, super spiral is because it has this elastic um, has this elastic thread that spirals around the entire spirals around and it, you're, it's able to expand and then compress around your body so like I can sit cross-legged uh, with a lot of sleeping bags at least mummy bags for this kind of temperature I can't sleep uh, I can't uh, Cross my legs, especially my six foot five legs. <laughs> and I, uh, <clears throat> and also I keep a lot of my different clothing and uh, stuff that I don't want to get cold or to freeze at night. Um, so it kind of expands around those items um, and then comes back around my body. So um, and like this morning, I'm sitting here letting some of my stuff that I did leave out, like um, my my foam liners for my ski boots. I'm letting those kind of just warm up inside of there right now. So it's expanding on the side here. Um, the sitting bag's expanding to kind of accommodate those extra items. Um, also, I keep like my, my water. I put a Nalgene bottle full of... Um, water, hot water. I put boiling water into this bottle and then placed it in at the bottom of my bag and uh, that kept, uh, kept it warmed up my bag for one. I also put my my uh, my food that I heated up um, inside the bag to kind of help warm up the bag before I got in last night. Uh, I probably got into the sleeping bag around nine or so. Um, roughly. Anyways, so that bottle was nice for the first uh, probably three, maybe four hours. 
um, and then it kind of dwindled off and it wasn't warm anymore. Um, I'm just wearing a pair of old uh, thick snowboarding socks. Um, they're the ones I used for all my long distance backpacking trips. I, so, yeah, so that's that. Uh, great bag, enjoyed it. Um, we'll be doing a ski through Lassen National Park here, a three day ski uh, coming up probably, hopefully in February, um, maybe the end of January. We'll see. Uh, so this is kind of just a test run on how the bag works, kind of dial in my system. And, um, I like these hot hands. I'm kind of figuring out which ones I, I want to use. So last I'm up in Sh Mount Shasta, um, somewhere around, uh, I don't know, seven, five, seven thousand five hundred, um, almost 8,000 feet. And, um, last one's going to be, uh, roughly the same, but it's going to, it's normally about five, 10 degrees colder than it is here in Mount, Sh Mount Shasta. Uh, so I was going to go up there, but I really wanted to ski up here in, on uh, Shasta, so that's what I did. Uh, but overall, I think it's going to perform well. All right. Well, um, this is what I brought out for my uh, cooking setup. I brought out the uh, GSI, uh, and I think it's called anodized aluminum um, tea kettle. Um, love this thing. It worked out great. Uh, I was able to melt snow and. When you uh, melt snow, you want to make sure you have um, a little bit of water in the bottom. Uh, you don't want to scold your pot. Um, so that's what I did. Had a little water. I brought out some water with me in my Nalgene and uh, poured it in there and started melting snow. And I was using my uh, MSR um, multi fuel stove. Uh, I have just regular gasoline in here. Uh, I got this one years ago, um, and my stove's inside of here. <clears throat> and I also brought out my uh, titanium mug, and uh, I'll have to anodize the, the name of this one. Um, but great setup. I drank my... Uh, hot liquid out of this last night and um, I I transferred my water from my um, kettle into my mug because I was adding olive oil so I didn't want to get olive oil all in the side inside of this guy I wanted to use this purely for melting snow um, and then I, I made stove top stuffing yep one of my favorites so that was my setup for that. Using my uh, one of my favorite spoons, my MSR folding spork. Um, I'm probably gonna move over to getting the MSR spoon, um, the actual spoon of the spork, because I never use the spork end. Um, so, and I think they have a they have a, a newer version that might be slightly. Um, lighter so that's in the future but uh, I've used this in my last two uh, my last two seasons of backpacking love this spoon it's great it's, it folds up and fits inside of my mug when I store it um, but then it also um, folds out to the length of um, reaching into my deep bags of mountain house but I really I, I never really use those mountain house ones uh, as mountain house uh, bags. I always put them into some kind of uh, Ziploc bag, um, freezer bag. So, but it still it's able to reach down inside of those freezer bags really well. Oh yeah, beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hey, this is Matt with NorCal Bushcraft. See you later. <music>